Drill two is leverage and drive. So the points here are we've come out of our stance and made contact with the defender, right? We just worked on stance, takeoff, contact, hitting our aiming points, and now the defender, we're in contact with the defender and they kind of let us drive them back, that last drill. Now we want to get some good resistance. We want him to get to the position of making contact. We're starting right under his chin. So all we want him to get used to doing is driving everything in his body through the defender. Forget plays, forget where we're going. We're going under his chin, and we're going to take all our power and all our force, all our energy, and take it straight through him. And we're going to move the guy with our lower body. Our ass and legs are the key to movement. And that's where we're going to generate all our force. And then what are we looking for? No wasted motion, down through the block, not rolling up too quickly, elbows staying in, bringing our knees forward, right? Feet are up underneath us so we can adjust all the elements of it. So watch him as he goes forward. Very good. So the first thing that we notice is he's going forward first. And so that's, that's your number one coaching point. Once you put him in that fit position to be able to use his lower body and his legs, you want to see him, the first movement should be forward. Many times against resistance, that first movement ends up being up. So they have to feel that and strain through it to get it rolling forward. And you can see him, that knee goes over the toe, so there's good Z in the knee, the knee rolls over the toe, and he steps with the back foot, weight on the ball of his foot, there goes the knee, and he starts driving. Watch how close his knees are to the defender. And that's what we want to make sure, that our knees are up there, that we're not leaving them behind. And now, if he makes a move, we'll be able to block him. We'll be able to block him. Don't worry about how wide their feet are. Concentrate on feet being up underneath you. That's how you have balance, to be able to finish the block if he makes a move. If your feet are back here, it doesn't matter how wide they are. If they're back here, he'll get off the block every time. So feet up underneath you, bring your knees, and give him good, steady resistance off the ball so he's got to move them. His eyes are up. His hands are inside. Good job.